Alright, welcome to episode 14 of the one podcast to eventually rule them all. <clears throat> Buddy. Uh, you can call me Tony Snoprano if you know what I mean. Alright, I got the crew with me here. Alright. Uh, you know, he'll eat your via scalapini and slap you in the face. The, the Don Vader with the beard that's, that's red is Cody. <laughs> Are you not going to introduce yourself, Cody? Oh I didn't hear god. it. I had to plug in my headset. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! How the fuck do you forget to plug in your headphones? Hey, hey yo, no, next, no. next we got the Tony Montana of the law, who launders millions of dollars and does Atlanta coke all before four p.m. It's Jake. Hey yo! All right next we got the Godfather who will make cement out of your shoes and throw you into the river to sleep with the fishes. Is Devin Bliss? Hey hey yo you 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 want to do this to me on the? On the day of my daughter's wedding, huh? Yeah. Uh, you gotta do me a favor, huh? Go on. Yeah. And then we're missing Caleb today, so. Sp of spaghetti. We are. Again, because he's probably, he's probably sleeping, but uh, I'll introduce him just in case he shows up at the uh, at the end. And, uh, uh, yo, lastly, we got my right-hand man, the Al Capone, who will take your mother out for a nice lobster dinner and never call her again. It's Caleb, all right? Hello. I haven't done a, I haven't done a New York accent in a minute, so that was probably <laughs> terrible. Was good. Wow, I, thought, I actually thought that was Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I thought well, you practiced it like for an hour before Wahlberg, you came up. Mark Wahlberg's I mean, Boston from Boston, isn't he? It's more Boston yeah, accent. Definitely, I think so, yeah. definitely. I think the accent you were doing. All right, but do you know uh, Top Turda? Wait, you didn't. Hulkamania is gonna run wild on you. Who did I introduce, Cody? Your, yourself. <laughs> you were away. <laughs> Oh, oh my bad. Something. All right. My, my apologies. You want to interrupt? <laughs> Do you want to interrupt? Do you know what Top Torta again? Huh? Ah, you're good. Because I'll have you sleeping with the fishes. All right. So anyway. you're not. All right. You're not turtley enough for the Turtle Club. <laughs> oh, bitch! Would you rather Turtle Turtle see Oprah or Arnold Schwarzenegger as the next U.S. president? Oprah. Oprah. Nah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Listen, um, she ain't, she's not going to be as giving as she was on her show. To be fair. That was to get people in seats. To be fair, Oprah's the only actual person that can be president out of the two, so. Yep. <clears throat> and also, a best friend of mine. You didn't say who could, point, you said who would you rather see. Listen, a best friend of mine once said Oprah is king at yahoo.com. Oprah the king. And That's Oprah the my... king at yahoo.com. That's my and, email still. And ever since then, ever since then. I've wanted Oprah to be king. Snow, do you rem do you remember why that's my email? Uh no, I don't. I remember why. Do you remember the 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 thing that happened on the GBYWN forum? There's a lot I of can't, things that happened. I can't say too much. It's like it's not for <laughs> the public's consumption. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll save that for later. Reconvene yeah. at the end. Uh yeah, I'm pretty what sure Arnold they? would make a better president though. He no, would. Oprah, Oprah would make a better president. Uh, it's Arnold. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, what strange thing would you like to happen at your funeral to make people laugh? I'm trying to turn my body into a pinata. I'm instead trying to... of instead of it being full of candy, I want it to be full of worms. I want my ashes to be thrown on my family. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Delightful. You love it. I mean, and not I... only not only that, but I want him to get like sprayed first. Like a big <laughs> water. I want see what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a big water balloon fight at my funeral. And then we're gonna have my service immediately after no time to change. And then somebody, probably probably Jacob or Brittany or Aaliyah. <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna for you, so. <laughs> they're gonna they're going to open my little vial of ashes and just throw them on all the wet people. <laughs> so that way, when you're brushing all the, the wet ash off, it'll clump together and you can just form me again. <laughs> Cody? Yeah. Um, I was just going to go with a song. Oh. I'm, I'm boring. I don't... I don't know. Well, it can't be a cover, so... Oh. No, that's see, that's the twist. It will be a cover. Yeah, if I'm at Cody's funeral, it's a it's a fucking cover. It'll be a my cover heart, of a cover. A, a cover of "My Heart Will Go On" by whatever metal band is prevalent at the time. 
Yeah. No, it'll just be Simple Man by Shinedown. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'd it'll, probably... be, it'll, it'll be someone. it'll be fucking hurt by Avengers Sevenfold. I'd go the Gallagher uh, route. Yeah. All right, everybody in the front okay. row would have tarps, and my body would just explode in the middle of the ceremony. <laughs> and everybody would be like, "Why? Is, why do we have tarps?" And then you know. <laughs> It's like fucking water world or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. When the when the water world. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I don't. Where they have whales and shit. Sea world. Sea, sea world. world. Yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. Fucking the dolphin show. Uh, wow. Yeah. All right, and then. <laughs> so we're bringing back the uh, Lord of the Ring question for this week. Is uh, okay. Is the Lord of the Ring master? present to yes. answer yes come answer your question <clears throat> the question is what is the name of Shelob's mother what is the name of Shelob's mother I'm gonna have to say this and hope that I have the correct correct pronunciation but it's Ungoliant okay and well... she was actually uh, in Middle Earth for a long period of time until she was attacked by Balrogs, which is the thing that um, Gandalf fights and dies from before he comes back as Gandalf the White. And he goes to Nangunthoreb, <laughs> she does, and has sex with all the great spiders and has a whole bunch of little babies, which is where she love came from, until she eventually was left by herself and then ate herself to death. Hell yeah. I will accept that answer. <clears throat> <laughs> Seems like you're not an taking acceptable it. answer. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. Thank, Thank you, Brittany. Brittany. Montana. We have failed once again. She has answered I, it. I married the Lord of the Ring. Mm. <laughs> Wish I could kiss a woman. <laughs> Snow's about to have a baby he has to kiss in a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Into the meat and potatoes of the episode. Today we're going to have... Some Star Wars talk about what's happening in the future, as well as some things we'd like to see in future Assassin's Creed games. You know, locations, other things that we like to see in it. Um, but first, let's debut our Devon's News Report. So take it away, Mr. Bliss. Okay, this week, pretty short on news. Not a whole lot to talk about. First thing we have, though, the battle for Bikini Bottom. Snow, didn't you play that a couple weeks ago? Uh, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, that game is coming to mobile. Ooh. Uh, is that game good? For, for free. It's fun. For free? That's what That's what my sources told me. Oh, well. Count so, I don't... Android and iOS. I don't know... It didn't say when, but it's coming. Big win for mobile. Also, today, the day of the 4th, January 4th, RuneScape turned 20 years old today. Fuck! I know, isn't that crazy? Then Two two things, these things can be coupled together. They just came across the wire not too long ago. Uh, We all knew CD Projekt Red was getting sued by all those. I didn't know that. Really? Oh, yeah. uh, yep. I thought I thought we knew that. Mm-mm. So in in uh as a reaction to getting sued, there are supposedly patches coming out in February that will fix. Well, maybe not fix the game, but help it out. And uh, so they DLC, had to get so they had to get sued just to be able to put out a patch <clears throat> for the game. I guess. Okay. Wow. And they're also dropping DLC in the first quarter of this year. What's the DLC? The rest of the fucking game? <laughs> it's free. Oh, it better be for free. <laughs> it's funny. it is it's free DLC. It's free DLC. I mean, this Passes is in February. It's really reminding me of No Man's Sky. Same. Like this uh, is the exact same path that they went. Yep. Just Jesus quicker. Christ. Off that off Cyberpunk. Uh, I really want to save this topic for a later date, maybe next week. But Valve, the game company, is hiring psychologists to help craft better gameplay stories. I don't know what all that entails. It's but it can it's, 
it can entail a lot. It can come I guess with we'll, a bunch to unpack. We'll talk about it, but that's surprising from Valve because aren't they the ones that did Half Life? Yes, which yeah, is did. like still the most sought after game thirty years later. That just because somebody wants them to make, just because people want them to make Half Life Three, doesn't mean they're going to. Well, I know, but I'm saying like people like their stories were so good that thirty years later, people are still going. I want another one of those games. Yeah. I don't so it, it's weird to me that it's coming from them that they're like, all right, well, we're going to do this to get m- better stories. It's not, it's not like valve comes out with games all that often. Anyways, I mean, in, in my head, that just means like they're trying to make a horror game. That's actually scary. That's what horror game. Of. Yeah. That's what okay. I think. of. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, either horror game or something that like either horror game or something that's really going to make you feel something like, that it's gonna hit deeper than like I don't know. I mean I hope, but I don't I don't know if you need a psychologist to figure that out. But we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And then all the only other things I have a couple games coming out this week. Uh <laughs> this one is an amazing title. I will probably never play it because of the type of game it is. But it's called Werewolf the Apocalypse, Heart of the Forest. Okay. And it comes out the seventh and it is a visual novel game. Well, uh-huh. those are novel games. So, I, it's not for me. Who knows? I thought Hades wasn't for me, too, but that's fun. I doubt I'll buy this, though. <laughs> and then <clears throat> Iris Fall comes out January 8th. A cool name, too. And that's just a puzzle game. Looks, the the cover art looks cool, but it's just a puzzle game. There's a free that's all the news. Game. That's all the news there is this week. There was nothing else really of, of note. I mean, um, yeah, we're in that lull of video games. Like, oh, we do yeah, have another good. another breaking news here that just came through within the last few sure. hours. Okay. Uh, Marty Squirrel and ROH have ended their relationship. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, about what what is going on with Squirrel? Because I feel like there's some the, some heat behind him right now. Um, I've seen on Twitter very recently that he's a piece of shit. Oh, really? Him and an underage yes. girl? Is that what the word is? Oh, well, my fucking God! Why? Yeah. Why? Yep. Listen, I'm about to go off the fucking... I'm about to shoot from the fucking hip real quick, brother. Some anybody people, anybody in people, the fucking professional wrestling world that fucking talks to an underage person like that needs to be fucking castrated and kicked out of the fucking business. I don't give a shit how big of a draw you are. That, Fuck that's off. The way, that's the way people are leaning. I am one of them people. I just think Ugh. sometimes I think violence is necessary. I fucking think some people... Dang. Some people actually need the shit beaten out of them. I'm so fucking make them realize things. I'm so fucking tired of hearing about people fucking talking to underage kids like that. It pisses me the the fuck off. Especially when violence is literally the answer. Especially, and the worst part about this is the moment, the moment that the heat's off of him, he'll get signed by WWE or AEW. Probably. I don't. I don't know, man. He's not even. I don't know what his contract's like, and that could be why, but he's not he hasn't even been on New Japan. I also think he's not very good. I do not enjoy watching him wrestle. And Fine. I think he's a piece of shit now, so yeah. If I remember right, I liked his gimmick. If Marty Skrull is like I same, with shit out of Marty Skrull. same with fucking Velveteen Dream. I don't want to yeah. see that fucking guy on my fucking TV. Me neither, dude. I, I mean Matt Riddle's on the screen right now, and I don't I don't I don't that even actually cool. I don't know what happened with him. That so was pretty it wasn't a kid. It was a fucking somebody over the age of eighteen. Where they, they said that he, they're like sending nudes or what, like flirt with each other or whatever, and it wasn't real. <clears throat> okay, that one was supposed to prove to be fake. All right, so let's cool her down. <laughs> yeah, talk sorry, about, sorry guys. Talk oh, about some uh, shit out of Marty Scroll. Talk about some Star Wars here with uh, cool yeah. the new phases apparently coming out, just like the Marvel universe. Oh, you know. I forgot have you guys seen the up. trailer yet? No, I definitely forgot to even look at it. Cody, have you seen it? No. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be comics. <clears throat> Marvel's going to have a comic run. IDW's going to have a comic run. And they're going to have three books. All of Marvel's Star Wars stuff has been pretty fucking good. Dude, the Vader comics are fantastic. Yeah, I love them. I, that's one of those that I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. And then I started reading them. Actually, I think because of you. And I was like, yep, all right, we're in. I didn't. I wasn't reading the Star Wars, like the actual Star Wars comic. No, nah, it was just Vader. Because of uh, the fucking whoever's. I can't even remember who's doing the art, but like it was hyper realistic, and like the faces were just super off putting. So I I couldn't do it. 
Yeah, Raiders, right, so that was, Raiders, that was a good video. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Seems seems like it would be cool. Mandalorian yeah. season two just finished, so yep. we saw oh, that you... um we're getting a Boba Fett show, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm super excited about that. Um so I want the I have one thing I have to say about this. Like the main thing I want to say about this, because I didn't see the part where there you talked about uh, the comics and books and all that stuff. First mm-hmm. of all, the names of these things are re- the names of this is really fucking cool. Fucking Light of the Jedi, Quest of the Jedi, and Trials of the Jedi. I'm I'm into yep. that, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and my initial question or the initial thing I was gonna propose was that I was tired of Star Wars movies coming out so quickly. Oh, nice. Wow. Um, but there's no Star Wars movies coming out. So yeah. instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to applaud Marvel and uh, company because they're not going the movie route. They'd make a whole lot more money if they were making these out of movies. Yeah, absolutely. But because I like as much as I'm tired of seeing Star Wars movies every year, every two years, um, I'd watch a 200 year old. You know, what I mean, I'd watch 200 years before the Skywalker saga. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch that. Well, the um, next uh, next movie is well, I think it's twenty twenty three would be the Rogue Squadron uh, movie. Yeah, yeah, which I'm actually excited about. Yeah, that that should be pretty cool. I'm excited, like I'm excited about just the, every piece of media that Star Wars is put out, like is putting out right now. I think that going for going further, they should focus more on, um, they should focus more on the the, the television media. Because yeah, yeah. they can afford to get those uh, those crazy directors that make great movies. Like the Mandalorian season two was one of the best, if not the best, seasons of television I've seen ever. Yeah, like <laughs> I was watching it with Jeannie, and she didn't. She only watched the last episode and doesn't really know a <clears throat> damn thing about Star Wars. And even I'm, she was hyped up. Yeah, I am. I'm a strong proponent for television. Over movies. I love movies. I am too. Right, like, but I'm more excited you, for the What If series and WandaVision than I am you can most. Bring, you can bring more to television. You just have less to work with. I mean, obviously. You can't, right. put, you can't put 200 billion or million, whatever, 250 million dollars into a TV. I mean, you can, but you spread it out. You spread it out over over eight to nine hours, depending. I, it depends on the show. Sometimes it could stretch out to like 20 hours for a season. Yeah. You have to spread that money out. That's why like end game looks phenomenal, but you couldn't, you couldn't spread that out. Would you like to see season know, worth of TV really quickly? But I would like I, to see the story. I don't, a little bit longer. I don't think a season of, of television needs to be 20 episodes. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying it does. Um, I think I think 13, 12 to thirteen is a good spot. Twelve to thirteen is a good spot. Yeah. And just to, for cost of comparison, um, season eight of Game of Thrones, whether or not you liked the last season or whatever, had fifteen million dollars per episode to work with. Like, so if if HBO and them have that much money to work with for for a television show that garnered i i can almost guarantee that mandalorian is garnering more revenue than the last couple seasons of game of thrones were well, well maybe maybe not, they're maybe they're close. only they're making money based off how many how many subscribers there are to disney plus and i don't know right. i don't know how many subscribers there are but you couple that with also like people on verizon get a year of disney plus free on top of the people who get that package with Hulu and ESPN Plus. Right. So. Well, plus merch. I, I mean, yeah, I guess. But we don't know how much of that merch goes to Disney, the, the studio, as opposed right. to the company. Well, think HBO doesn't have. That's. that's HBO is not the owner of Game of Thrones. They just licensed it out. Right. So how much money is Game of Thrones making then? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, no, I can see what you're saying. I just, I mean. These aren't things I know. I don't know. Yeah, we don't, we don't really know that, but I can I can almost I can't guarantee, but I can in my mind Mandalorian was much more well received than the last 3 seasons of Game of Thrones. But they had a 15 a 15 million dollar budget. You know what I mean? I think that 
Yeah. Hey, I'll look up Mandalorian's budget. Now, Here, do you watch here's Star my War? here's here's my thing. All right. Um, yep. Star Wars fan base is worse, <laughs> or if not on par Awful. with wrestling fan bases. Oh, yeah. Oh with, yes. with toxicity. Yeah. Oh, after like the last trilogy, and I think with the Mandalorian, after what happened with that, I think it kind of revitalized the whole Star Wars franchises going forward. I think so. So, I'm pretty excited for what's what's going to happen. And the funny thing is, um, Ryan Johnson, the uh, director of the the Last Jedi, is going to be directing the next three movies in the star wars trilogies uh, oh nice uh, so uh, the thing the cool last thing jedi about the newest one last jedi was the, the seven <clears throat> second to the last right or second oh, okay See, See, the the eight. I, I last the jedi one. is the eighth force awakens the seven last jedi is eight rise of skywalker and seven. last the, the eighth one is the one that to me was the worst one eighth one yeah of the new trilogy? Yeah. Okay. To me, that was the worst one. And But the reason... I have a reason behind it, right? I think that if you're going to do a trilogy, you have to have the same director for the trilogy. For the all three of them. Because what one man's vision is <clears throat> in episode one, or episode seven, isn't going to be the same as somebody else's for episode eight, and it's not going to be the same as somebody else's for episode nine. Yeah. You and know what I, I mean? That's exactly what happened with this trilogy, is both... Right. The- we're butting heads, and I think that's also honestly. I mean, it's kind of in the same realm of stuff. That's what DC has been having issues with too. Is they're making movies, and they're like, "All right, this director, now this director, but same universe, but they're completely mm-hmm. different stories." Yep. And, but and then they and it's and okay to have, it's okay to have de- different directors for different parts of the franchise, right? Right. Because Marvel doesn't have the same director for all. No. Twenty four movies. No, they don't. They don't have the same director, but they all have one guy who runs all the right. movies. Right, and that's what I think that <clears throat> Star Wars needs. Also, really quickly, I looked it up. Uh, Mandalorian season two had fifteen million dollars per episode as well. Uh, okay. I was also going to say about that about like the Star Wars and the show. Uh-huh. There's not. There's not as much CGI. I mean, there is, but as as opposed to other things, like their characters are usually like in costumes or animatronic or something. Yep. Yeah, like well, so, I, I think they said they at one point they didn't have enough of the stormtrooper outfits, so they actually called on cosplayers from LA to come yeah, out to the shoot. I, rem- I remember that there were uh, a set of cosplayers from Fort Wayne that were on it. Yeah, so like that the shit's fi- cool. The five hundred first or something like that. Yeah, yeah and they'll they'll come out the five hundred first. Every parade that we have here, um, has the five hundred first, and every parade has a stormtrooper line in it. That's awesome. With Vader too. Vader's there. <clears throat> good thing about Star Wars is there's so much to draw from that hasn't been done. Yes. Yeah. Like, like the that, Sith. The Sith have a gigantic history. Dude, I would love a that, Sith movie that you could pull that you could pull from. I could, I can find a podcast and send it. But I listened to it a couple of years ago and it went through like the whole lineage of the Sith and it was. I would. I, mean, I would love a Sith movie. An episode from or. Um, a movie from their perspective, oh, it would be great, I think. I mean, there's also a lot that hasn't been talked about about like the Great there, Jedi. There are also a shitload of books that I'm not going to take the time to read. Right. But like, so, I'd, love to, I'd love to see them go over the Great Jedi. I mean, yeah, I would too. Because they are neither side. They, they're just... They're there. You know what surprises me really quickly? And I'm kind of... I'm. I don't really have much more for Star Wars, but since we're talking about TV, would you like to know what Supernatural's uh, budget was? I'm sure it was high by the end. For the last season, it was $45 million per season. Jesus. Oh, oh per season? You spread, that through, spread yeah. that through 23 to 20 episodes? Yeah. Damn. For what See? they did and shit like that, that's <clears throat> crazy. Although, I guess, for the most part, who's a ton of CGI? They didn't use a lot of CGI, I know. Yeah, they did. Would any monster? I'm finally into season five, by the way. They didn't use CGI for monsters. What'd they use? People. Yeah, monsters are usually people. You think that the I'm... Wendigo was a, in season one was a person? I mean, uh, uh, okay, you can tell in like season that. one that the CGI in season one is pretty fucking awful. It is pretty awful. 
But, so, I mean, most of the ghosts yeah, and stuff you know, are just people that they get little after effects for. Yeah, I meant like the, season, the monster in, monsters. In season one, they're, they did not have that much money at all. But like, if you look at like season, uh, whatever the Leviathan season was, there's a lot of CGI in that season because the Leviathans were I mean, CGI. Yeah. I also, that I think that's a, a down low season. That's my least favorite season. I do too, but that doesn't... I was just... I was more... Like well, okay. We also have to. I mean, I'm saying I'm saying it's very impressive that they did what they did with two million per episode. Oh yeah, yeah I agree. I definitely agree. And also coupled with the fact that uh, <laughs> Sam and Dean had to make a shitload of money. Like, yes, they had. CW had to be fucking paying them. Oh yeah, because they kept. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, they kept CW on TV. Yeah, I mean that in the Flash. Yeah, and then Arrow when those came around, but those didn't come around till later. Yeah. Yep. And then they were the that was the best channel on TV for a while. All right, so ending the Star Wars talk, let's talk about uh some of the let's stuff that's coming Wars. coming out. Uh we got the Obi-Wan. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah show with coming Ewan out McGregor with Hayden and Christensen, Christensen coming back as Darth oh, yeah. Vader. Uh be what, 10 years after the Revenge of the Sith movie. So that would be interesting to see. Um a Clone Wars spinoff called The Bad Batch. That'll be Ooh. fun to watch. Um, yeah. The uh, Ahsoka um, show. Yeah. Oh, fun. yeah. Uh, they got a Lando um, show coming out. Uh, a okay. droid story will be coming out. And a Star Wars Visions will be coming out. Which is like nice. anime or whatever. I'm super hyped for everything but the Android one. I don't really care for the Android one, but everything else I'm super hyped for. I think it'd be interesting to see like <clears throat> I can't wait for the how anime. they do the droid one. Also, it says, apparently um, it says okay. is uh the epic journey will introduce us to a new hero guided by a legendary duo R two D two and C three PO. So Oh. I'm excited now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited now. I guess they also announced it's not coming till 2025, I guess. And I'm going to butcher his name, but Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. I love is, Taika Waititi. He's actually going to be directing a movie for him. Sure. He's doing he's doing Thor. Yeah, he's uh, doing Love and Thunder. He he does what we do in the shadows. Yeah. He's also yeah. the rock. He plays the rock guy from Thor. I can't remember his name. <laughs> and oh, the, okay. The favorite, like, the thing that I saw about it is his quote is, I can't wait to ruin Star Wars for all of you. That's great. You love to see it. And That's he's also uh, doing a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory animated series for Netflix. No oh, shit. that would be cool. Dude, Tyke is so fucking cool. Yeah, That's really cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I'm... The thing I'm the most excited for out of everything that you guys talked about, or everything that you mentioned, Snow, is uh, the Kenobi spinoff. Absolutely. Because... I cannot wait to see you and McGregor as Obi Wan again, and I can't wait to see Hayden Christensen at playing a proper Vader. Yeah, and I can't wait for to see another Obi or a fucking you McGregor Hayden Christensen duel. Yep, like goosebumps, yeah. goosebumps. Hello there, yeah. cool. General Kenobi. Kenobi. <laughs> All right, so overall, big win for Star Wars coming up in the yes. future. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So let's move on to uh, Assassin's Creed games and what we'd like to see for that in the future. Um. So, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna list off all the locations that we've <clears throat> been through, and then I'll give some uh, some locations I'd like to see for future games. You know. Um. So Sounds we got. Good. So we got the Holy Land in Assassin's Creed One. We got Italy in Assassin's Creed Two and Brotherhood. We got Cyprus from Bloodlines. We have Istanbul from Revelations. We have uh, New York and Boston from Assassin's Creed 3. We have the Caribbean in the middle of the Golden Age of the Pirates in Black Flag. Yep. London with Syndicate. Um, Egypt from Origins. Odyssey, we had Ancient Greece and... Um, the newest one, Valhalla, we were in Norway and England. Mm -hmm. um, but there was an Assassin's Creed 2 discovery. I don't know if you guys remember that for the Nintendo DS. That really went to Spain, but I really don't count it. as. I didn't play that one. There was also no. the uh, the one in China that I don't really count. Yeah, but don't, I mean, it I counts, but yeah. 
I, I mean, she looked like a badass. She did look like a badass, but I, I've, nobody's played it, so. Right. So I would love to see like a Wild West. Ooh, that'd be dope. During, that'd be cool. During like the, uh, you know, just uh, replay Red Dead. Kind of like Red <laughs> Dead, yeah. Um, a Mexico but one would be Red interesting. Dead. Like a Call of Juarez type Mexico, or like, like um, what are they called? The Mayans, kind of. Oh, oh yeah. dude, yeah. that'd be dope. Okay. I, I can like, see that actually. I can see that coming. Running through the jungles and still doing pyramids, but in a completely yeah, yeah. different setting. That'd um, be sick. An Asian one, like a Mongolian samurai. Oh yeah, one. yep. That would be cool. Like a France, France would be cool. Um, yeah. and maybe like in India, that'd be cool with like the uh, temples and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say for France, could you imagine climbing to the Eiffel Tower? That'd be yeah. sweet. That'd be sick. I, and I know there there'll probably never be a modern day Assassin's Creed, so I don't want to get myself yeah. from that. What are you talking about? The fifteenth one will be Assassin's Creed Ohio. <laughs> It'll be no, it's just Hitman. Yeah, fair. <laughs> but like, I Tom hope Clancy. I do hope they keep like the. Uh, I do hope they keep the Witcher style games that they've been going through for the last uh, yes. three games. It's been fun. It's I don't really think it's um, an Assassin's Creed game like it was, but it's still fun to play. It's a little fresh, <laughs> updated version. But yeah, I'm having I think, fun with it. I think that it's even, it had to evolve, right? right. Because it, they couldn't keep if they were still putting out games like Assassin's Creed One, people no wouldn't one play it. Care. Yeah. And nope. I, I kind of have the same issue with musicians too, because people all be like, "Oh, that album wasn't like your first one. I don't like you anymore." Like, well, what do you expect from them, man? Like, imagine if fucking Panic at the Disco was still putting out "I Write Sins Not Tragedy." Exactly. Like, like th- I'd probably still listen to it. Right. Right. So, like, <laughs> but at the same I'm... time, we'd also be like, "Fuck, we've been listening to the same fucking song <laughs> for twenty years." Like, I'd probably listen to it, but thirteen-year-olds wouldn't. Right. So and it wouldn't excite them. And same um, thing with Assassin's Creed. If you just made it the same exact gameplay over and over, people would get bored. No one would care anymore. And before right. and what, think, Origins, it was it was getting really, really stale. Yeah, really stale, really repetitive. So they had to that, do something. Wasn't that when they were doing like one every year? Yep. So, so yeah. I think one was Rogue, which like was like I didn't even finish. It was too terrible to finish. It was awful. Yeah. But um what was that? Syndicate in London? That was that was actually really good. Yeah, Syndicate was pretty fun with uh, yeah, the I, two characters. Yeah, like where you change between Jacob and the uh, the girl. Yeah, that was, that was, I was think good. Jacob. Unity was still okay. And they were all fine. After... That, <laughs> it took a minute, but that's the thing. They were all fine. Right. Look, Assassin's Creed weren't. Three gets so much hate, but it was like Assassin's Creed Two was great. Very good. I loved it. Connor was awesome. Yeah, Connor was one of my favorite assassins. And so, like. That was the first one that I felt like, okay, I actually like grew up learning all of this history, and now I'm literally changing it. Right. And that's the thing about Assassin's Creed for me, is, in my mind, they could keep Assassin's Creed going for the next 50 years, because there's yeah. so many points in history that they can go back and explore. In 20 years, they could come back and play through Assassin's Creed 2020. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, th- there's just so much, so much stuff that they can explore. And for me, my biggest place that I want them to do it is like a J- Japanese uh, samurai area right. era because Playing man, Ghost of Tsushima. yeah, it's a uh, ghost of Tsushima with a more refined fighting system. Man, so I feel like it would end up more like Tenchu, which would be an amazing thing. No, I don't think it'd be like Tenchu because they don't, it Assassin's Creed is so much. So lo- it, it's not stealthy anymore. Well, I know, but it would be like you could... Well, because you didn't have to play Tenchu Stealthy. You That's could true. run in and kill everybody. That's true. If you're you, good enough. Right. But I, I feel like it would be that style of game, and that's perfectly fine. Maybe more like a Ninja Gaiden type. Yeah, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden mixed with, mixed with like Prince of Persia, mixed with like... like a, yeah. a, an open world Ninja Gaiden, sure. Not yeah. Linear. Right. And that'd be perfectly fine. I... There's definitely a lot that they can still explore, and they are keeping some of the modern elements to it. I haven't played Valhalla, so I don't know if they're still doing the where you switch between the Animus and. They okay. are. So not as I much mean, as they did uh, in the earlier games, but yeah, you still do. Because there's no Desmond anymore, is there? Not as far as I'm aware. So 
I haven't yeah. played Origins or Odyssey though, to be fair, so I couldn't really tell you if he's I, still around. I played well, Origins. Well, not Desmond Odyssey. died, so yeah. Mm. Okay. He died at the end of three or uh, Revelations, didn't he? I think so. Or Brotherhood, whichever one that, whichever. No, no, it was three. three. It was after that, I thought. Maybe I don't remember. It was three because uh, the world was ending. It was 2020 or 2012, and the world was ending on the date that it came out because it came out on October 13th, and it switched to October 13th, 2012, and the world was literally imploding. And then the end of it, he killed like he killed that chick and killed himself, basically. Who knew they were only eight years off? <laughs> well, it's 2021, Cody. So come on, dude, get with it. Yeah. And the Sorry. world is on fire. Not your years, bud. But I, yeah, I think there's definitely still a lot left for them to do. I think as long as they go the route they've been going recently and not doing the all right every year we have to have an Assassin's Creed, then we'll be okay. Uh, there's a rumor that there might be like a small uh, side story kind of game coming out this year, but I don't, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but the next actual Assassin's Creed game would probably be coming next year, 2022. 2022. Yeah. And if they they could they. If they really wanted to, they could split it up, split the workload up, and come out with a new Assassin's Creed every year. If they split it up between like Ubisoft Montreal and oh, do like how Call of Duty does, yeah, All Activision, they, they just, could do that. Yeah. They just don't. They just need to put fine. out DLCs throughout this year, and then after that, just start working on the next one. I agree, right. and I, I agree. think it's fine if they do a little side story because like the Assassin's Creed Liberty was cool. It was something you didn't have to play to get the game, but it was fun if you wanted to play it. Yeah. I agree. I'm perfectly fine with that. Ezio's still the best, by the way. Oh, I agree. Which one? Ezio. Oh, Is that that number two? That's not what you said earlier, Jake. You said Altair was the best. Altair's my favorite. Ezio's the best. Ezio's just a complete badass. Altair is my favorite, but that's just because of his, like, I don't know, the, his stoicism, I think. His, he's just so fucking, like... Because he was in Soul Calibur. He was in Soul Calibur. That fucks with you. Soul Calibur. I mean, there, I still like Connor, but... Connor was dope, too. I, there hasn't really been a bad assassin, in my opinion. No. There have been bad games, but there hasn't been a bad assassin. Except for when you go against the actual villain assassins. All right, so overall, big win for Assassin's Creed. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Assassin's Creed. That's how I spell it. Still like the multiplayer. That's how you spell it. That's the right yeah. way to do it. Yeah, multiplayer was No, you fun. don't, Cody. Look, I'm like telling you. For that game? I, for that I game? cannot was... remember which one it was, but there was one of them. I didn't even know there was one. Really it, it was Brotherhood. I don't know if it was. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want a co-op Assassin's Creed game. I'm surprised you can't do that. Isn't that what Unity was? No. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. I think it was supposed to be. It just didn't work out. Because like Far Cry has co-op and it works great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what Unity was supposed to be. It just didn't work. Because the whole point of the story was it was four assassins working together. Yeah. Look, Black Black Flag was amazing, and that's. The only reason Assassin's Creed got a bad shit. rap was because Assassin's like Creed Assassin's Black, Black Flag. I didn't like Black Flag. Was amazing. I like you it. could you could fight in your ships. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like Black Flag at all. You could you could sing sea shanties while you drive yeah. your boat. I was just that a big was, mark for pirates, but was I wasn't a big fan of the the boat gameplay. And big mark for pirates. And it was big, so big mark for pirates. prevalent. I also I also want to see it like a King Arthur. Oh, that'd be sweet. <clears throat> that'd be yeah. Cool. Fucking Lancelot would be one of the assassins. Uh huh. You know what game I want? I want an open world RPG Game of Thrones game. In that world, doesn't have to be about the Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? I just want to be in that era. Like, like obviously some of the characters would have to be there. I don't know. I, 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 I just can get like, behind that. I just think an open world RPG like Skyrim style Game of Thrones game would be sick, or Witcher style Game of Thrones game would be sick. What about a Witcher style supernatural game? Yes, 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 oh. yes, yes. So that you mean the Witcher? 
<laughs> no, because that's literally what it is. <laughs> no, Cody, you're Sam or Dean or another hunter, and you just go around oh, helping okay. people. Like, if say, oh, I would be Bobby. I would be Bobby. You are Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I like Bobby. I love Bobby. I love Bobby too. I love dead Bobby. Love living Bobby. Love heaven Bobby. Heaven Bobby's my fucking man. Love the I'm second at, dimension I'm Bobby. Paralyzed Bobby right now. I love paralyzed yeah. Bobby as well. Fucking other world Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's the one character that can do no wrong in my eyes. He really couldn't. He's just fucking Papple. He's, like, he's your like, Papple. Like, even even he like, went all black eyes and tried to kill Sam. Even when he went all black eyes and tried to kill Sam. I got it. You know, I, I understood. That's Fuck like, Sam. He, no, no, because he was like, I can't do it and stab myself. Yep. Right. But like, also, paralyzed. even when he was like trying to trying to live with his ex-wife who, or his, <laughs> his dead wife. Oh, like, yeah. Dude, that episode kind of fucked me up. I got it. Love I it. understood. Bobby just wanted some love. Yep. yep. Spoilers. I'm sorry, but Bobby needed some love. He did. He deserved it, too. Bad. I mean, it's a spoilers. That episode's like 13 years old. Somebody say spoilers. There's a there's a. An episode later on in the, the oh, show. Oh, it goes maybe? back to it? Okay. Oh, no. No. That goes <laughs> to something, and somebody dies, and it fucking killed me. Oh. You it's know right what now. I'm talking about, Devin. Huh? Right now, I'm at the part where Cassiel is going against the angels because he's trying to find God. I can't wait for you to hear ass butt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> hey! Ass butt. I can't it's wait. Coming. It's soon. What what season did you say you're on, Cody? Five. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> what episode? Oh god, what was the last thing I watched? I think it was Castiel coming to tell him that he needs to go find God because he just wiped out Zachariah or whatever. Shit, yeah, you're getting close, bud. Oh he, yeah. He taught, I, I mean he taught, so you're close to the end of the season. Uh, uh, flash the angels away. Uh-huh. Teleportation thing. So you're close to the end of the season. Did you no, like no, I just Zach- started season five. Did oh, you, you like just started Zach- season five. Yeah. You like how Zachariah died? Yeah. I can't. I. I need you to finish that episode or finish that season before next podcast. You re- seriously? That's my favorite it. season. I know. Yeah, same. Straight up. That is the, I that's had the season all night last before, night. Why? You go on, that Dude, is I the season know. that Supernatural was supposed to end on. Yes. Season five. Yep. Yep. Oh. And you'll see why. Okay. Uh, no, dude, I fucking had, it was a recurring nightmare, but I kept waking up like on the hour, but I was trapped in some church watching over some baby that they kept saying, <laughs> kept naming Saint Aiden. Then it kept getting muffled and started saying Satan instead. <laughs> you got a dream. All my right. dream was very NSFW Whoa. last night. Oh, yeah, I had a dream. Chongo yeah. elbow dropped my balls last night. I, had a, I was fucking my blanket when I woke up this morning. <laughs> All right, so overall good episode this this week. Overall big win. Hope you guys wow. like the new format. <laughs> had, a, yeah. had a boner and everything. So uh, hopefully this Boy, wasn't had a boring. Rager. Hopefully this uh, wasn't boring for you guys. You know, we, we got a little excited, I guess. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who got excited? Um, yeah. Um, follow follow the uh, the podcast Twitter at Top Turda uh, for anything and anything related to Top Turda. Leave us feedback, questions you might have for us, or topics you want us to discuss. Uh, go follow us on Spotify if you'd like. Go f- uh, subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave us a rating. Um, yeah, you can go follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and maybe Twitch at the Beast Now. I'm with you. Follow yeah. on Twitch. Give them your Twitch money and Patreon money. We don't have a Patreon, Devin. Yep, well, still don't have a Patreon. I don't think we ever will. There's no Why? point. We can sell shit. That's not how can Patreon we works. That is yeah. literally how Patreon works. No, no, like Kickstarter goals. You do things for them for paying you. Right. You sell services. No, like it would be like you get the episode a day early. For a fee. Pretty much it. We have nothing else to offer. Anyways. So, hey, if you want the episode a day early and you would like us to have a Patreon... <laughs> you would like Brad to work harder than he already does for very little. A.K.A. nothing. Yeah. He gets nothing. <laughs> Fucking he gets Brad the intern. Companionship. He gets Anyways, the if, you guys, 
if you guys want to come hang out with me on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch at forward slash twitch.tv forward slash friendly plays X. You can go follow f- me on Twitter at friendly plays. Go follow him on uh, Twitch. He needs, he, he's all, he's really close to 500. Uh, I am followers, really, so. I by am. Time it might be there. Yeah. By this Please. time next week, I might be there. Please follow him on Twitch. Friendly plays X. And if you want to follow me on TikTok, I, I have to see him eat the chip. <laughs> yeah. 500 followers. I'm eating the chip. So in a hot chip, hot chip, gonna hot burn chip. Him. one chip challenge. Whole chip. chip. Oh, I mean the whole thing. But yeah, you can follow me there and we can have some fun. Go ahead, Cody. Uh, I am Gingerbeardman1 on Twitch and T Gingerbeardman on Twitter. And every other Sunday on Friendly Plays X Twitch for the Clefador Chronicles. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Steve Austin BSR and Sexy WB and Caleb SXE44 and Friendly Plays and give. Subscribe to Beast Snow on Twitch. Literally can't yet. <laughs> Follow Beast Snow on Twitch. There you go. <laughs> Get him. He needs three concurrent viewers. Well, like me, he, he has to stream first. Goals. That's true. He has to stream first. Follow us on New Japan. Me and him are in the same boat. All right. Except Snow doesn't make excuses about why he doesn't stream. He I just, just says he doesn't do it. Do it. <laughs> I just don't yeah, do it. That's fair. Which is worse. Snow's uh, never you. Been. You, 100%. Yeah. All right. Appreciate the love and support. Yeah. Follow you five people that listen to this. <laughs> Don't forget. I'm pretty follow... sure we're four of the five. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Top Turta. Yeah, do that. On Can all platforms. Episode, yeah. Leave us a five-star review, and we'll shout you out on the podcast. Hell yeah. Till next Hell week. Yeah. You know, I, was a... you. I, joined a... I joined the Matt Nix podcast. I, I joined his Patreon. He said that he'd let me come on his podcast. If, <laughs> yes, you, pay, if, you, podcast. Pay, if you pay the twenty dollars, I did not get on the podcast. You shot him out. I don't think he's done a podcast since then. Probably not. Hit me with a shout out though, brother. Oh yeah, he did. He uh, he did a podcast with fucking Cam. Oh yeah, I listened to that. That was a good one. Yeah. Good luck. A lot wow. of history there. Send him a text. I'm busy. All right. Anyways, Bye. see you guys. All right. Bye. Hail Biden. Bye. Hail Biden. Hail. Give me my stimmy. Yeah. Give me Be another sorry. stimmy. Yeah. Give me another one. I want more money. Bye. More money. More problems. Bye. Butthole. <laughs>